Welcome! Today we will show you how to make an apple strudel. Recipe is very simple and suitable for kids. So let's start! Welcome to our channel Green Eyed Explorers where we also cook and bake. Attention! When cooking be careful and use protection. So you will not cut or burn yourself. First, let's see what we need. Quantities are at the end of the video. We need apples, fill a dough, butter, crumbs, sugar, cinnamon and raisins. Preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. A bit less if you use ventilation. Peel and grate apples. Slice butter into two parts. Slowly melt half of the butter and add crumbs. Mix until they get brown. Slowly melt the other half of the butter too. From now on, be careful and split all ingredients into five parts. For every roll, we'll need one part. We'll put five rolls on the baking tray. So one part of the ingredients goes on one sheet of filo dough. Apply one part of the melted butter onto the sheet of filo dough. Use pastry brush or tablespoon. Apply one part of apples onto the whole filo sheet. Use a tablespoon and put roasted crumbs over the apples. Pour some sugar over it. If you use sweet apples, pour it less, by the filling. Cinnamon goes well with apples. If you do not want to pour it too much, pour it in a way shown here. If you like raisins, use them as well. We like them very much. At the end, roll the dough carefully. Take care it doesn't tear. Hold it with both hands. When putting rolls onto baking tray, we suggest that you bend the edges downwards, so the filling stays in. When you prepare everything for baking, use the rest of the melted butter to coat the rolls. This will make the strudel more delicious. Attention! The oven is hot! Do not touch inner surface. The baking tray is the only cool one, so hold it away from edges, not to burn yourself. Bake 30 minutes. In the meantime, prepare cork protectors for the hot tray. Use thick oven gloves to hold it. If you like, you can even use some sugar powder. Let us invite you to hit the like button, share our video with all young chefs and bakers and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell to be informed about new videos. If you have any questions or a good recipe for us, use the comment area below. Advices Use a potato peeler, you'll be faster and you'll have less waste. Use baking paper, this way the dough won't stick to the tray. If you don't want to burn, turn the oven off, open the oven door and wait for it to cool down. You can mix all ingredients in a bowl beforehand, it will spare you some time. Bon appetit!